welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new to my channel. I am Shelly and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. And this video is going to be a um, ship with me. So also you're going to be seeing what I sold. So this was from this past weekend. Oh, and also on Friday because that was Veterans Day. So a little bit of a longer weekend. Um, I don't have a ton of sales. I think I have like maybe just under 20 um, or maybe 20, I don't know. So not like a crazy amount, but I'm pretty happy with what I sold. Um, yeah, and I will let you know the prices of everything. I will insert a little photo so you can see it and, you know, again, what it sold for. Um, I have only three on eBay. I kind of was slacking on cross-listing because I first list on Poshmark because that is just like my main platform. So I always list on Poshmark first and then I cross-list to eBay and Mercari from Vendu. Um, and I've been kind of slacking on that and so I haven't had a ton of sales on either eBay or Mercari. So yeah, so that is, yeah, I haven't had a ton of sales on there but I did have three on eBay because I did start cross-listing again. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first is going to be all of my Poshmark, which is mostly Poshmark, and then the eBay are at the end of the list, or the end of my labels. I do use um, Dymo um, labels and a Dymo printer, so let's get started. I mostly use just like the Tyvek free envelopes from the post office. So our first item is this sweater um, and it is from J. Crew. There's some fuzzies on there. It's from J. Crew. I picked this up at the bin. So it wasn't a haul, but it was a little bit a while ago. Um, I picked it up more in like maybe the spring or maybe even the summer. I don't know, but I still picked it up because it was a nice J. Crew sweater. And this sold for $36. always just like do it as small as I can do it and then I will put the label over top to make sure it's nice and secured. I have my bag over here. Okay so next is a pair of jeans um, and these I actually bought for myself on Poshmark a while ago but I wore them a few times but I haven't really been wearing them so I decided to list them. And so they are American, not American Eagle, Abercrombie and Fitch. And they sold for $40, which I was really happy with. I think I'm making a tiny bit of, tiny bit of money, but not like a ton, just because you know I have to pay for shipping and everything. But I listed those. I think this is my first time picking this brand up. Um, these are men's and they sold for $28. So I was pretty happy with that. This video you will see I'm definitely starting to sell a lot more um, fall and some winter items. So that is good, but also sold swimsuits, so, so here's that. Next is another sweater from J. Crew. This is actually, I picked it up, I believe, maybe not, I don't know. I picked up, there was a bunch of J. J. Crew sweaters um, one day, and they were like all newer styles, so I picked most of them up. Um, so I don't remember if this was the same day or this was another day at the bins, but this is from the bins, it is a cashmere blend. And uh, this one sold, I think this was just a full price sale, and it sold for 45 which I was happy with. And, let's see. Okay. I have a bundle of 
two swimsuits and one of them is swimsuits for all which I picked it's new with tags like a little um, skirt kind of thing and I picked this up at the bins and um, I haven't had that too long but this one is actually like really old I got this for free um, back in like 2020 from neighbors and so yeah I've had this a long time but someone put them in a bundle and sent me an offer it was a little bit lower but because this one I had so long I just decided to accept it and move them both okay this one has like padding in it and it does not want to mold at all I think I'm just going to put these both in here. into my packages I just like having it as simple as possible I can ship faster that way and I know for me even when I get like thank you notes tissue paper I just get rid of it or I, I will save the tissue paper and use it but um, thank you notes like I just recycle them usually because you know what am I gonna do with them um, so yeah so I personally don't do thank you notes I will do like tissue paper or paper um, depending on what the item is um, usually if I use a box, I will do tissue paper. So this next item is some snow pants. Like a snow overall set. And this is from London Fog. And I picked this up at the bins. It's been a while now. Um, they're new with tags. They are kids. But I sold these for $23, which I was happy with. I got them at the bins. I don't I think I might have had them listed at like $35. Because it didn't retail for a ton. Um, and so I got an offer of 35 and accepted, or sorry, 23 and I accepted. So I am gonna put some tissue paper in here since I'm using a box. And these are very, snow pants are so bulky. Let's see, I hope these will fit. Oh my goodness, okay, I think these will fit. And these I've had kind of a while, so I think I've probably got them either at the end of last winter or maybe like in the spring, I would say. So, you know, I think a lot of that kind of stuff is selling right now. As you can see, I've already sold a few sweaters and I have a few more sweaters coming up. sweater vest kind of. It's sleeveless and it has a turtleneck. You will see the picture of it. This should fit in one of these. I was happy to move them. 
Alright, so my next thing is a vintage tie that I picked up at the bins. So I have it wrapped up. Um, it's just like a lobster tie, so I thought it was kind of a fun um, print. And so that sold for $20. And I'm just putting it in a small um, flat rate. Anything like small, like bras, um, you know, ties, maybe like wallets and stuff. I will put in these small flat rates because they fit really well in there. So there is that one. I'm going to rip this off. Oh no. I just ripped off some of the thing. Okay. I might really print that little. Alright, so next up is this Bowden. Um, printed top and this sold for $25. I was happy with that. Um, this, I believe it was from the bins. I'm pretty sure. So I have that one. So I'm gonna use another small flat rate for this item. So this is a fossil little like wallet. Um, this is from the bins. This sold for $18. I think I have it listed at like $25 maybe. Um, and somebody offered me $18. So I went ahead and accepted that. And yeah, this will fit like perfectly in here. So we don't have too many more actually. to put together. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I just um, put some tissue paper around it and close this up. I just make sure to get that sticky part on there really well. So there is this. Alright. Next up is this Christmas sweater, which perfect timing right now. I'm sure people are going to start doing like Christmas sweater parties and stuff like that. Um, this one I picked up at the bins and it sold for 25. I think I had it listed maybe at like 35 and they offered me 25. And so I accepted that. This is the medium flat rate box, which I use um, a lot for shoes. And so this is a pair of um, Spring Step L'Artiste um, shoes. And these I picked up at the bins. And yeah, I'm going to put some tissue paper on there. And then I'm also, so what I do for shoes normally, I do like, um, each one I wrap in tissue paper. And then I also grab some of this, um, I think it's just called packing paper, but it's kind of like a off white. And I kind of bend that up, crinkle it, I guess. Because you don't want them to like move around a lot because they could get hurt. Especially you don't want them to be touching them, each other, because that can like create scratches and stuff. Oh, and these sold for 55, which I was very happy with. 
I've sold this um, brand a couple times, um, like the L'Artiste, um, not collab, um, just like shoe brand. Um, and because I think the actual brand is Spring Step, and they just have that L'Artiste um, style on some of their shoes that are more like artistic and stuff they have more like patterns and colors and so yeah and usually they sell for a decent price so i was happy with 55 for that so now we're moving on to ebay and i have three ebay to show you and i think i'm just going to use just these little ebay bags um because i think that will fit all of them pretty well so the first one is this smart wool top and this I just picked up actually my last fins trip. Um, so that haul will be coming out. It was a really big haul. It was actually my biggest haul that I have had. It was 62 pounds. So it was a really it was a good fins day for me. And so this is just a men's. I found a whole like, I don't even know. It was probably like five maybe smart wool men's um, shirts. So this was one of them. This one sold for a little less because there was a hole in it. Um, this one sold for $20 on eBay, but I was so happy with that. It was a quick turnaround and everything. So there's that one. And then next up is a Hannah Anderson dress. And this, so this is like little kids dress. Um, and this one sold for $20 as well, actually. Lucky brand women's top, and this sold for $19, I believe. Yeah, $19. Everything on eBay was like $20 basically. And this was a pretty recent pickup, so at the bins. So I grabbed this one pretty recently. I don't even know. It was probably like a couple weeks ago. I don't know. It's pretty recent though. So awesome to see that move quickly. And that one. Okay. So there is all of my sales. These also. And so yeah, that's all my sales. I'm gonna go drop them off now. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you still enjoy these videos. I like making them because I can kind of talk while I am still working and everything. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!